It's not what you say, it's the language you use. That's not a plug for Cantonese cuisine. Through a good dim sum is never a bad thing, or a knock against guys who try hard to impress their wives. Instead, it's an exclamation point on the importance of understanding love languages. Wow. Everyone has a primary love language, a way of expressing devotion、uh, and affection that touches us deep inside, occasionally puts a go goofy grin on our face, and leaves no doubt that we are truly and spectacularly loved. As you probably deduced from the title of this book, there are five basic love languages. Huh. One. Words of affirmation. Two. Quality time. Three. Gift giving. Four. Acts of service. Five. Physical touch. One of these, one of, one of them is an express, express way. Uh, to your wife's heart. That's not to say she won't respond politely to one or more of the other languages, especially if she s e e you making a real effort. Ultimately, though, those are other four love languages are as foreign to her as a Cantonese is to most native English speakers. Uh huh. On the other hand, when you express your love for your wife using her primary love languages, her primary love languages, it's like hitting the sweet spot on a baseball bat or golf club. Haha, <laughs> nice analogy. It just feels right, and the results are impressive.